Folks, welcome to Tabletop Tactics with myself, Lawrence. And I'm very excited to reveal our all new addition to the team. It's James Jordan. Hey, everyone. Of <laughs> at Paint Me Some Slack fame on Instagram. Congratulations. Thanks so much. You have now joined the team. This is crazy cool. It is really cool. <laughs> it is really exciting. So we've, 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 we've hired Jinx recently, Katie, and now we've also got you. So cool. Yeah. Well, so. domination. <laughs> you. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you've, you, you were a guest fair semi recently um, yes. over on On Demand. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a tremendous amount of fun having you on so the show. Um, and we've been speaking for a little while, haven't Have we? Have indeed, yes. Um, about a potential for a, for a, a role, a position yeah. here at Tabletop Tactics. And then we lined up the ducks. Yes, the ducks did need some wrangling. They did was... need some wrangling. <laughs> it just happens that you could make it work. Yes. And and yeah. I could make it work. You could line up the ducks. The planets have aligned have indeed... with the ducks. Yeah, <laughs> the duck planets, yeah. Well, look, this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. I've got some questions for you today. Yep. You feel good about that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so yeah. I, I want to introduce you to these mega bosses out here. So I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions which I think will introduce you. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready for question one? Yeah, absolutely, Brace yourself. yeah. Okay. Right. Question one. Okay. Mr. James. Yes. What drew you to Warhammer? Wow. Okay. So, um, I guess originally it was sort of when I was little, I was massively into Lord of the Rings. Okay. I absolutely love Lord of the Rings. I pretty much watch all three films like every year, like yeah. as a like tradition. But um, when I was young, there was like, I can't remember if, like, if it was, was a TV ad. I must have been at the time because it was, I wasn't on the internet and like, when I was younger, but um, it was like you could get a magazine, and it came with like the little like Fellowship yes. of the Ring, yes, like mi um, minis in it. I remember it, yeah. and I remember like as a kid watching that on TV. It was just like, like yeah. I loved Lord of the Rings. I used to watch all like the behind the scenes stuff. So the fact I could have like all these armies yeah. of like Mordor and Gondor and stuff, I was like, what? Yeah. Like, yeah. I was yeah. losing my yeah. mind. Yeah. I was like, mom, mom, like yeah. quick. Like, yeah. um, so I picked that up and then obviously started sort of getting into sort of at least games workshop stuff through that. And I hadn't really been that exposed to like at that time, like old world fantasy yeah. Warhammer or 40K. So that was the first sort of thing is sort of, you know, every Christmas I might get like a little box of like uh, Lord of the Rings figures. And then I think when um, we used to go visit my like Nan in Eastbourne, there was a games workshop there. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, that's the people who make the yeah. toys. So I went in and then obviously I saw walls and walls of other stuff. Yes. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, um, and one of the things that um, really drew me in then was there was this new section that was obviously like Warhammer 40,000 and had all these like sleek, like sci-fi looking dudes with yeah. like big robot suits with yeah. them. And I was yeah. like, who are they? Yeah. What are they? And I want them. Yes. <laughs> um, and that was obviously then my favourite fish people. Interesting. Um. Interesting. Okay, well, don't, 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 don't reveal okay. too much. Don't reveal too much. Let's not get ahead of yourselves yeah, here. Sorry. Yeah. So, so basically, you got into Warhammer, you, you started with Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. you got you got pulled in with the magazine. I remember that yeah. magazine too. And the, actually, the Lord of the Rings miniatures are really cool. Really cool. As well. Yeah. Um, they still okay. pretty well. They do. Really I think cool. they really do. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very nice. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you the second question. Okay. Okay, yeah. because you were trying to preempt, weren't you? <laughs> I wasn't <necessarily. laughs> What is your favourite faction? See, no, this is this is the tricky one because my my first introduction to 40k was through the Tau. Right. And I think I always love the Tau yeah. because quite simply, they were the first like, oh my god, this new thing. But one of my bigger influences in really getting into the 40k lore, and I think um like Jinx mentioned this in hers, was the Dawn of War yeah. video game, which yeah. came out a little bit later, yeah. which was then obviously like the Blood Raven Space Marines. Yeah. I was like, okay, these guys are cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like it's a real like 50-50 between the Tau and then just, you know, Space Marines because they're so iconic. Yeah. But I think I have to give it to the Tau purely because they were that first like love, do you know what I mean? Like when they draw you in, you're just like, oh my God, I love these guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even though they've been through many iterations of in a pickle yes <laughs> yeah. yes they have um but I, you can't you just, i just love them yeah great. they are very yeah. cool and you've got a beautifully painted tower yeah. force which you yeah. might be seeing here very soon Ooh. in a debut battle report very exciting <laughs> okay so the 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 fish people the tower yep. 
are the favourites of your yeah. factions in 40k. Yeah. All right. It's decided, everyone. It's decided. Made my decision. But you have multiple. You play multiple factions. I do indeed. You? Yes. Um, you've, you've even got a Blood Ravens army. I do you? have a Blood. I'm kind of running them as Blood Angels for rules purposes, sure. but I couldn't not paint them. It's in Blood Ravens. Blood Ravens scheme. Because yeah. I just love like the tan shoulder pads and like yeah. the like darker red. They're great. It's great. And so the Dawn of War games were, was amazing. Amazing. So. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to ask you the third question. Okay. Yeah. What's your favourite part of the hobby? <laughs> um, again, that's really hard. Yeah. Um, I think I sort of, it's a weird one because when I started like with the Lord of the Rings stuff, like everything I painted looked like I painted it with like a two inch brush. Yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. was like, yeah. may as well do a wall and then like slap it over like yeah. a little um, Aragorn or something. So I always felt when I was like growing up, like I wasn't good enough to do the hobby side. Yeah. And it wasn't until strangely like sort of later on in sort of like, my life is in like when I'm an old wife yeah, yeah, yes. but um, <laughs> my little brother really got into wanting to do the sort of hobby side okay so I was like oh man I'm gonna give this another go and obviously now with like all the wealth of information on like YouTube and stuff yeah it was like oh my god there's things called washes yeah, like do you yeah, know what I mean like yeah, it, yeah. all these sort of like not secrets but stuff that I never understood when I was yeah. younger sort of made way more resource sense. wasn't there to, no, I remember too. growing up as well and they, you they you know tutorials you you'd maybe get something in a white dwarf yeah, right. you know yeah. and you'd try and follow along with their yeah. pictures but you'd realize that actually Games Workshop had clearly missed out about yeah. 50 steps of yeah, highlights right. like, <laughs> I remember it like yeah. in the Lord of Rings magazines it'd be like right how to paint like a man yeah. of Gondor and yeah. it'd be like silver yeah. skin finished yeah. and it'd be like wait but my, why doesn't yes. mine look but like but mine doesn't look yeah. like your immaculately painted heavy yeah. like, metal team model yeah, like, yeah. what happens yeah. I'm wrong yeah. um, but I mean I still do that now I'm like wait what like, yeah. why, yeah. why doesn't mine look like that yeah. Um, but yeah with all the wealth of information I really got me into that side mm. but I think half of why I like the, the hobby so much is that you play a game mm. and you're like oh I see what's missing yeah. and then you're like oh I might get a couple of those and add them in and then it just is this cool sort of cycle of as soon as you play you want to do hobby hobbying more yep. and then when you're hobbying you're so excited to play and yeah. then it constantly keeps going around yeah so it's hard to really decide so you, so you really do enjoy painting as much as playing and, yeah, and vice absolutely. versa right? yeah i yeah. love it Which i love it all because awesome. i think it hobbyist. has such a nice flow yeah. to the whole like start and end of it but yeah. um yeah Very okay cool. all right uh, this is going to lead in nicely to my next question awesome all right do you prefer you don't have to prefer one you okay. might again this might be like the cycle of this might be like the circle of life you just <laughs> you like both equally <laughs> competitive or casual games of 40k or is there a place for for both in your uh, gaming world? I think there's definitely a place for both because yeah. I think I think it's been discussed before of that even if you say, oh, I like casual play, mm. you don't yeah. want to just constantly lose. Like, do that, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> right? No one no wants one, to play a game and lose all the no time. No one's just like, no. oh, I'm happy just losing all the time. I, mean, yeah. I, I play Tau, so maybe I am. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's that thing of like, you want to still win. So there's an element of you're always trying to give your army that edge or that sort of tune but I think for me, I do really enjoy the slightly more casual side yeah. purely because I like taking all the fun stuff yeah. as opposed to this is like, like vigorously efficient, right? Yeah. Like sometimes I do just want to run models that look cool. And yeah. unfortunately, sometimes they're not always the most competitive choices, yeah. um, which is why I would lean that way, I think, overall. Yeah. But still, like, it's like one doesn't exist without the other. You well, know what I mean? You, 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 I, I, I've, I've heard rumours on the grapevine that you're a bit of a... Um, Let's let's say uh, an aficionado when it comes to the Tau that uh, that you you might you might actually have a, a ruthless competitive streak and that you want to destroy every single player here on the channel. Is this, this is could true. you confirm? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Well, you know, cha look, challenge accepted. We, we'll I mean, uh, we we say ruthlessly. see you in the league reports. Yeah, soon. Well, yeah, ruthlessly. I think we'll say. You know, obviously, yeah, with right. the most powerful army in the I'm game saying, right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. They will, they will come and they will conquer and they will have <laughs> a really fun time. <laughs> okay. I have one last question for you. All righty then. Yeah. Okay. You've done very well so far. Thank you. That's so cool. What's your nickname going to be? <laughs> oh, I, I feel like you can't choose your own nickname. Really? <laughs> um, I, I have no problem with this. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I've noticed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like it also has to, like, it comes from something eventually. I yeah. feel like it will just have to wait and see. Mm. Mm. I'll probably do something 
incredibly silly and then it will stick and then I'll be cursed forever yeah. with the memory of something silly I've done. With That's what I'm imagining is going to happen. Yeah. But yeah. Um, if you guys want to call me anything, but not anything. I not, 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 anything. <laughs> not just anything. Yeah, be nice, please. Um, but yeah, I guess it's, yeah, we'll just have to see what comes naturally from what happens. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, James, it's been a pleasure asking you these questions Likewise. and introducing you to these bosses out there. Okay. I'm very, very excited to have you on board. I'm incredibly excited. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. We've got uh, and now, now you are our new resident Rippy T Tao player. <laughs> Rippy you'll, T. You'll see what who Rippy T is yeah, in the upcoming battle yep. report. <laughs> uh, but you've got your Blood Ravens. Yeah. I know you also have a Tyranid army I as well. I do have a Tyranid army. Um, I think I was talking to like Jinx earlier, I think we'll bring some United Tyranid silliness yeah. to the fore, which will be really fun. Yeah, well look, I, I'm looking Very forward to, to everything that you're gonna to bring to Thank the you. channel. And uh, you bosses have lots to look forward to. We've got plenty of battle reports coming up with James, yeah. as well as league reports, as well as other videos too. So folks, <laughs> until next time, I've been Lawrence. This is our brand new presenter joining our team, James, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,